What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous and the most toxic black man on the internet. And I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. So, I hope you are all staying warm out there. I know there has been a lot of places, even where I live, where there's been like a lot of snow and cold weather. Here, it's been in the single digits as far as the temperature goes. So, I hope that you are all doing your best to stay warm and stay safe out there. I know here in Tennessee, a lot of the roads are still very icy. So, be careful when you're out there driving. I don't want you guys slipping and sliding out there or, or hurting yourselves or someone else because the roads are too icy. I understand sometimes you got to get somewhere, but be careful out there. That's all I got to say because I've, I've heard people slipping and sliding out here on our roads and it sounds pretty dangerous and our house is on the corner. So I worry about people coming around the corner or sliding into our yard or into one of our trees or something like that. So you know, it's just, just very dangerous out there, and I want everyone to be as careful as they can be. That being said, there has been some news that has come up this week, and that is that there are law enforcement and DAs now looking to prosecute the so-called Brick Lady. Some lady, I think her name is Rhoda, and I've talked about her on this channel before where I talked about the Somalian scam artist who basically lied and said that she was attacked by some black men while she was out of the club. She said a black man asked for her phone number. She refused to give her phone number up. So the black man just mysteriously, out of nowhere, picked up a brick and threw it at her head and just scarred her for life and tried to take her life and left her for dead. These are her words. And apparently a bunch of black men saw this and just let this man get away and didn't do anything to protect her right and you know when she did this she basically became an agent of chaos on social media because her video went viral and all these people were basically using this as their opportunity to attack the black man and make it seem like black men don't protect black women or you know black men are just derelict or just toxic and evil because, you know, if if we get rejected, we're just going to have bricks just on deck. You know, we'll just pull a brick out of nowhere, like a, a Grand Theft Auto or something like that, weaponry, and be able to throw it and launch it at somebody just for not getting their phone number. And black men are bad and evil. And, you know, we always attack black women. And, you know, according to the brick lady, she was in the hospital saying she ain't never do nothing she never did nothing to nobody, and she was crying and everything else, crying her little crocodile tears and making it seem like black men were just so evil, right? And she managed to put up a GoFundMe and got about $40,000 out of these knuckle-headed black females who supported her. Now, not long after that, it came out, and a lot of people did some investigating, showing that this woman was a well-known scam artist. She had pulled this scam, the same scam before. And, you know, she's known for embellishing and lying on social media. Uh, so a lot of people were just assuming that this whole situation was fake. And when people looked into it, it didn't look like the so-called bruise on her head did not actually look like a bruise. It looked like an inflation or maybe even an allergic reaction or something like that. It didn't look like she had actually been hit with something, right? So, you know, it, it just got, she got called out in her chicanery. And only now, very recently, people are, are, or law enforcement is calling for her to be arrested because she committed an act of fraud by, you know, soliciting donations and getting money out of people for something that never actually happened, right? And even her her campaign got shut down on the GoFundMe site. So, you know, I've seen a lot of people talking about it now that she's been officially called out for lying. And, you know, that there's actually people looking for her and wanting her to turn herself in to law enforcement. I've seen a lot of people talking about it on social media, and I want to kind of give my two cents 
on the latest in this situation. And the first thing I wanted to say is, you know, I'm not going to talk about the typical stuff because there's, I've seen a lot of people just kind of talking about the actual charges or whatever. So that's, that's not something I need to cover. You can actually go look that up as far as like what she's being charged with and, you know, the severity of what she did and what she could be facing as far as any type of legal indictment. But I want to talk about some of the things surrounding it. And one of the first things I want to talk about was, you know, a lot of people are asking that now that it's been proven that this woman was a liar and that she lied about this situation, are black men going to get an apology for this? Like, are, are people going to use all of the energy and all of the vigor that they did when they were accusatory towards black men and making black men seem like we were bad for this, this one situation, you know, are they going to come out now and apologize to black men for all the, the negative things that they said? And I'm going to let you know, guys, uh, you're not going to get an apology for this. Okay. This is actually one of the reasons why when I do my intros, I just go ahead and say I'm the most dangerous and the most toxic because I understand that that is the view of the black man. I understand that that is the never ending label that is put onto black men. So I kind of just decided to embrace it. You know, if if they want to call me evil, they want to call me bad, then I'll, I'll be that. Okay. Like my boy Red Man said, if that, that's, see, they want to keep calling me that, I'll be that. And, you know, you're not going to get any type of apology for this sort of thing because you would have to these people would have to assume that they did something wrong by even making that accusation against black men just just thinking about the accusation based on what this somalian liar said it's that in itself in and of itself was ridiculous because of this one incident this means that all black men are somehow guilty of violence or you know, all black men don't protect black women because of this one incident. So just that accusation based on that, you know, you're not going to get an apology for that because it was, it was ridiculous to begin with. And the people who make these types of accusations, they're so full of misogyny or not misogyny, of misandry and so much vile and, and hatred towards black men that they don't care what the truth is, you know, you're guilty until proven guilty. That's basically what it is, right? So there's no point in even thinking or asking for any type of forgiveness from these types of people because anyone who had sense would never have made that type of accusation in the first place. Because I noticed that black women who have sense, black women who have like sons or black women who love black men, they weren't out there making these types of accusations. They weren't out there attacking black men. So the right types of women and the types of women that I, I'm around, they, they didn't say anything that was negative towards black men during that time. So I don't have to worry about asking for an apology because they, they're the only ones who would give a sincere apology anyway. Now, as far as these divestors and knuckleheads and everyone else, I don't expect that from them or these gay men because there's a lot there was a lot of gay black men making the same accusations like if you ever saw that that show with uh because Claudia Jordan did a show with like these two gay black men where they're basically just tearing black men down after this whole situation happened right so if you're expecting an apology from them no you're not getting an apology from those types of people because they their whole job and their whole being is negativity towards black men. That's all they want to do is attack us. So, you know, whether they're right or wrong is is irrelevant. They, they don't care about that. That that's that's something that doesn't even enter into their mind as far as like logic or what's right or what's or what's it what's actual justice. That doesn't matter. All they care about is attacking us. So that you have to understand that when you have enemies out there. They're not there to apologize. They're there to tear you down, right? So <clears throat> that being said, the other point that I want to talk about, and this is kind of like where I want to focus on, and is that I guess like there are a lot of males who saw pictures of the brick lady 
and just on her social media. And she has tons of uh, pictures out there of herself. And either they've seen her twerking or they've seen her from the back or whatever. And I've actually seen men out there lusting after this lady. And even some being as silly to say like, oh, she did nothing wrong because she has a, a big butt. Right. So basically guys just like lusting after her because she has a big ass. Right. And when I see stuff like that, one, one thing I'll say this, it's not surprising. It's not surprising that you have knuckleheads out there who just lust after whatever female that they can get a hold of. But the, the bad part about this is when you have men who have no, have no mental or emotional discipline or all of their emotions are wrapped up in their nether regions, this is a bad thing for a man to be. And that's why it's hard for me to even call them a man. They're, they're more just males, okay? And they act, a lot of them act like, like animals, basically, in the fact that they just lust after whatever big butt shows up in their face. And this is why a lot of males get caught up in a lot of nonsense in that they let their penis direct them into certain areas and they're not thinking about things on a logical level all right so like the fact that you would lust after a female who is a pathological liar you would lust after a female who's known for scamming people right so so let, let's say if she approached you you would want to go mess with her or have sex with her and then later on, you would wonder why she put a case on you, right? You would wonder why you or you're wonder why you got caught up in the child support system because of her. All right. And then then that's when a lot of these knuckleheads will then all of a sudden become red pill. And they'll want to blame, you know, feminism and the, the justice system and the child support system and just women in general and hate all black women, black women, this, that and the third. Right. Then they want to start a podcast about how bad black women are, but these males will never look in the mirror and question their own lack of discipline when it comes to situations like that, right? And like I said, I as a man, I understand that, you know, you're going to be attracted to women. There's nothing wrong with that at all, but you need to have some discernment as to what types of women you're going to run into. And if you're even contemplating uh, getting up in Miss Rhoda, the brick lady, then you could really be putting yourself in a world of trouble. But like I said, the, a lot of guys, all they do is they just see the ass cheeks. They just see the big booty and think that that's the only thing that they need to score on. And then once again, they sit back and wonder why their life is in the toilet messing around with crazy females like that. Because this this that big booty is attached to a, a sociopath, in my opinion. I think this, this woman has a lot of mental issues, and she should be avoided at all costs, all right? And she ought to be locked up for all the scams that she's pulled, but, you know, that's a, that's a separate matter. But just from a, a social level, you should avoid her at all costs. I don't care how big her ass is. You can find big booties everywhere nowadays anyway. That's not rare. People act like that's something different or something that they've never seen before. That's what I don't get about certain guys. It's like they act like just because a woman has a nice shape, that that means that that's something original or something they've never seen before. It's everywhere nowadays, especially with all the plastic surgery. Get over it. Okay, big booty. Move on. What else you got? That's, you know, you need to be more concerned and more dis have more discernment about what's going on in this female's head. And from what I've seen of the brick lady, the only thing going on in her head is sexual confusion, racial confusion, and nothing but lies. Like she has so many different stories. She's she's always the victim. No matter what's going on in her life, she plays the victim 24-7. This woman's crazy. Like I said, and to mess with her, you, you literally might as well just go ahead and stick your penis in on, on like the a fire on the stove or something or in like a fireplace that, that's the type of trouble you're going to get yourself in that's the type of pain you're going to be causing yourself to mess with someone like that so 
I mean, you folks can let me know how you feel about all this in the comments section. I very much like to hear your opinions on this. And once again, be safe out there. If you're in a place where there's lots of snow and ice and low temperatures, please be careful. You know, you don't want to make sure your, your car has enough gas. You don't want to get stuck out there in single digit or negative zero temperatures because you will freeze to death. OK, I've seen stories like that already. Be careful with the ice. You don't want to be slipping and sliding everywhere or crash into something or somebody else or accidentally run somebody over. And, you know, if you're in an area where you can play outside with your kids or whatever, just be careful and keep an eye out on them as well. Make sure that they don't get hurt or, you know, if it gets too cold out there, tell them to come inside because you don't want them to get frostbite or something like that. And watch out for, you know, like icicles and stuff like that falling off of houses and buildings or whatnot. Anyway, folks, this is Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on a devil's back.